Hi everybody again. I'm going to try this in a different setup just to see how it works with lighting. So this consider this another little test video and thank you for joining me. And if you make it through, thank you very much for staying with me. But I wanted to show you my Leopoldia, which I showed you in a roots. Why do I not repot at what time? And I've left it alone, done my thing with it, sprayed the surface, poured some oxygen through it. So this morning I was doing my rounds and you can see these markings. And I'm like, what are you, what's going on there? What's this about? So next step, let me see, there's quite a glare from the sun, which is lovely, no complaints. Next step, I saw this in the roots department so there is a new root growing so what i thought i would do is take you along for the repotting or cleaning up of this leopoldii which and i brought the other plant i, I mentioned but didn't never showed you and you can see that this is a bit loose in the pot so i'm not going to jiggle too much there are roots in there it's not totally loose and this is the main piece it's not looking too hip. I've lost the old bulbs at the back, which I can clip off now. Not concerned about those really. It's not really yet my reason for concern. But um, this was the plant. This was the plant why I got my next Leopoldii and I'm not going to buy another one so something is going on here you can see that I leave the reservoir pretty much empty it is not dry so the microfiber is still wet but I don't fill up this reservoir because clearly there's nothing going on with Leopoldii the roots sticking out of the pot they're firm so it's sleeping still, but uh, let's concentrate on the um, this little guy here because uh, I don't like seeing those marks. It was clean a couple of months ago and only this morning did I pick up on these Mars marks. So let's have a look what's going on inside here. Oh yeah, woohoo, all right. We have growing tips. Oh my, and how pretty they are. Look at this. That's awesome. And scary. I say scary because I've got one that's touching the bark. Pretty harshly. The big chunk here, the one that caught my attention, that's hugging that bark chunk a little bit too firmly for my liking. Oh, but nice root tips. So, something was going on in the bottom, and it is now time to repot. So, I'm very glad. Don't want the marks, but I'm kind of glad that I saw it because I was not ready to repot. But because of the marks, I'm like, nope, now is the time to have a look. So here's one root kind of stuck. I do normally wear gloves when I do this for the plants coming into my collection. I do normally wear gloves, but uh, they're hard to come by these days. They're precious commodity. I'm not going to waste a pair of gloves for this so let's see I've got this guy here taking too much ownership of my root let go whoa there's one and now this guy easy does it easy does it not pumping so I'm not going to force it it'll go into the media 
and eventually will release itself. You saw that I sprayed this after cutting the bulbs there. So now these uh, Fiskars are actually sterilized once again. All the branching here is gone. So let's take care of what we can and open up this little puzzle a little bit further. Yeah, I'm liking this. I don't see any pests. I do have my arsenal here all lined up. My hydrogen peroxide, pesticide, etc. if I were to need it. I'd like to stress the roots as little as possible. So if I don't see anything major going on, I normally opt out. So there's a little branch, gotta watch out for that. These guys are seriously compromised. So off we come. Still easy does it. Oh, it's a nice warm day today. So not too bad. We had only one rain shower which I managed to film and was awesome. We were expecting more rain, but no. So far, we're left without. Now, I could fuss with this a lot more. You're gonna give or are you gonna stay? You're gonna give, thank you. I hope I'm actually talking loud enough don't want to actually scream or shout because I do have neighbors. They're probably wondering why am I talking to myself anyway. I've done this in the past. Maybe I should tell them about my channel. <laughs> so, I'm just picking off little bits that fall off loosely. And as I mentioned, this big guy, this one right here, look at the way the root is holding on to it. I'm just going to leave that be. It's going to be somewhat on the top of the media anyway, and I do have a dry top layer. So in this case, that'll work in my favor. Is that? No, that's just white root. Have one more little look for you to release. Thank you. And that would be it. Except that I am going to spray my um, Delio Poly down with some insecticidal soap here. So I always spray my equipment right after I've used it because then it's just ready to go in case I see something as a matter of, not urgency, but you know, you want to do it then and there and you don't have to sit around and wait. Hello, that is a snail shell. Look at that. Uh-huh, all right, and hydrogen peroxide comes to play. I was not expecting anything, I didn't see anything, I was going to leave it alone. Well, there's something to be said about doing this outside and not in the kitchen. I'm not inhaling all the fumes, which I normally do. <laughs> I would say one could leave that to fizz and bop away. Yeah. Just a little bit more maybe, when in doubt. So these little marks here, yeah, I'm not too keen on them. They bother me. So it's a nice windy day. I can do this without any preocupaciones, as in I don't have to worry. There you go. You're all jacuzzed up, all vamped up, and here's my little pot. I was tempted to go into this mask, but it's too big. Too big. Now, I don't like the fact that my hands are dirty, so for next time I'm gonna bring out a rag. So as I do this, I'm going to bring out a rag because I don't like to get dirty hands into this liquor. 
The reason it's clean is because it's been processed and I don't want to mess it up. So let's see how much I need. I have not at this point um, picked out small lecker because I know Leopoldi, ro Leopoldi roots are quite big and they have, they, you know, it's easy for them to get through. But look at this. So the markings were a curse and a blessing, but now that I've seen it, go away, no more. So I've got my two holes in the back that I've drilled with my Dremel. And then I'm going to place my little seedling towards the back of those holes and fill up around it. I don't need a support anymore because as you can see by the bigger option over there, it's actually no need. It's so small, so I'm not going to mess around with the support. I did bring all my kit and caboodle for that, in case, but that would just be pushing it. It's we don't to do it. Okay. In the other video, I noticed how shaky the pot got when I was doing this, and I'm going to try and learn from that. So I'm going to hold my plant and my pot, and give it a good little backpack. See, am I still with the holes or does it shift? You see, sometimes the plant shifts when you do that, which is okay. I like to have things kind of lined up and even. Basically, it helps me when I move plants around. Now, because I have a root banged up right up against the edge in here where I normally put my tag, I'm gonna put my tag in by the holes as I always do while I can still see the root. So this way I'm not constantly, or afterwards, pushing, pushing, and I'm actually pushing against the root. So, next little layer. Yeah, next little layer, let's go. That's all there is to it. They have enough air in this pot to grow. And then we'll see what the bigger brother does or sister does in the future down the line. Because I really would like to see some action going on there. I'm still missing this one to grow. This was the last growth from last year. And that growth. Since then, not a light, nothing. Not one single bit of movement. Nada. So we'll see. We'll see when it decides to make a move. I've made kind of a list of the updates that I want to do because I've shown you those orchids. There has been some developments already, but I'm not going to keep repeating because I think that would be kind of tedious. I would like the algorithm to get to know me though. So that's why I'm trying to post every day now for the foreseeable future. Because that algorithm needs to learn who Ninja Orchid is and start to recommend. There's a little bit of uh, ambition as well. You see, my background is marketing and um, public relations, etc. Making other people's businesses shine. Plus, I've been in the hotel industry for most of my life and that's where I kind of honed my skills, if that's what you want to call it. So as my brain starts to wake up again and I'm doing these videos, my head is like going strategy. I'm starting to go back to what I was doing in my professional life, thinking of strategy and improving on things. So I know that's a lot of that is up to me and I would like to see that I can take care of it and that's why there's daily videos. So here's my garbage tray. Here's my Fiskars, don't lose all the little bits and pieces. You've dried out by now. And I just dropped them, sorry about that. And here's Leopoldii. Ready to rock and roll, I hope. That's the plan. So, there's one more little thing missing. And that is, excuse me. To fill up the reservoir. 
just with our own water and seaweed. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to turn it the other way around so that the water stays in there. Because this little table is a little bit facing downhill, which is awesome when it rains, but not so much when you try and do certain things like this. So, new location. Let me know if you could see things. Let me know if you could hear things. Being out here, I can hardly see the screen because of the, friction, the reflection of the wall. But, um, yeah, let me, let me just you wouldn't mind giving me a little bit of feedback if this was sound wise okay and um, pretty bird chirping okay <laughs> and visually okay I would really appreciate that so thank you very much for watching any questions let me know and I'll see you next time take care bye